Welcome to our first video tutorial on understanding Zotero. In this video, we'll go over the installation of the program. The first thing we'll look at is how you install Firefox, which is the web browser that Zotero is a part of. Then we'll talk about how to install Zotero itself. And then we'll talk about how you install two plugins that you'll need in order to use Zotero effectively. Now, while you're watching this video, feel free to refer to the vocabulary that I've listed below. And there's also an outline. If you have any questions, you should feel free to put them on our class forum, or you can put them directly onto the YouTube page for this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's get started installing Zotero on our computers. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that I am using a PC or a Windows computer, and I'll do this for the first video, but then I'll be moving to a Mac. So just don't be uh, caught off guard by the change in the look of the screen. Uh, the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that Zotero, the program Zotero, is a plugin, and that means it works as part of another program, and that other program is called Mozilla Firefox. Now, Mozilla Firefox is a web browser, that is, it's the program that you use uh, to look at content on the internet. So, before you download Zotero, you need to download Mozilla. So what the way you do that is you go to your the web browser that you use. Um, it'll probably be Internet Explorer or Safari. In this case, it's Chrome. And you want to go to this web address here, mozilla.org. Once you open the page, you'll want to go to Firefox. And uh, there'll be a button at the top of the page saying Download. So what you want to do is click there download everything and walk through the installation process. Now I'm not going to do that here because I've actually already installed Firefox. Here I've opened up Firefox now that I have it installed and there I've opened up three tabs and the reason that I've done that is because there are three plugins that you need to install into Mozilla in order to get Zotero up and running. So I'm going to walk you through the installation of those three plugins one at a time. The first one is the Zotero program itself. And all you need to do is go to zotero.org and then click on Download Now. That will take you to another page where it's going to give you two options. You can either install Zotero as an add-in for Firefox or Zotero the standalone. My recommendation is that you install Zotero for Firefox. Now, you'll see that this pops up here and says, Can I install this? And you go, Yes, Allow. Then, once it's downloaded, this uh, next pop-up uh, dialog box will appear, and you should click Install Now. Now, this will reappear again, and you have the option to say Restart Now, but what I want you to do is to click on this drop-down and say Not Just Yet, because I want you to install the other plugins. So, the next plugin I want you to install is the Word Processor plugin, and we'll see this later on in the videos. It will help you uh, use uh, Zotero with Word in order to properly cite sources. So what you'll want to do is find the version of Word that you use. If you use a Mac you can install here, but since I'm on a Windows machine right now I'm going to use this one. So again I'm going to click and the process is the same. I'm going to select Allow. Then I'm going to click Install Now. And instead of clicking on Restart Now, I'm going to say Not Now. And then I'll move to the final one, which is Zote File. And I'll click Download. And then I will click Continue to Download. And then I'll click Add to Firefox. Again, the process is the same. I'll go to Install Now. And now, finally, I'll say Restart Firefox. Now, you can see that Firefox will shut down and then restart, and the same windows will all be open again. You actually don't need to worry about any of those windows anymore. But what you will see is that this little Z has appeared at the uh, top of the browser. And that 
is the button that you click on in order to open up Zotero. And you can see here that now I have successfully installed Zotero. And uh, in the next video, we'll look at how we configure Zotero and configure the preferences so that we can best use it to uh, capture and organize our sources.